What's going on Pokemon Card Nation? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to open I believe 16 Sword and Shield era booster packs from Sword and Shield Base, 2 Rebel Clash, 2 Darkness Blaze, 2 Vivid Voltage, and without further ado, let's get right into things. So we will start with the most boring, but not the most boring set to ever exist, just the most boring Sword and Shield set. Sword and Shield Base, well it's actually not that boring. There are cool cards, there's just not that many of them. Like I said before in millions of different times, Vivid Voltage is my favorite Sword and Shield set. Salazzle, who's dabbing. Metal Saucer, Roselia, Choodle, the Turtle, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, Clobopus, the Octopus, Reverse Mincino, Hollow Orangaroo. I do not believe I've hit this one yet. I think I need this for my Sword and Shield set. So we will double sleeve it, and it'll eventually end up in a top loader if I do need it. Hopefully I do. I think, I can't remember off the top of my head for sure. There's so many sets I'm trying to complete right now. It just doesn't look like a card I've seen before. And we have four of each pack. So four Sword and Shield, four Darkness Ablaze, four Rebel Clash, and four Vivid Voltage. Metal Energy, Crushing Hammer, Kingler. What we are looking for in the Sword and Shield base is the Golden Zacian or Zamazenta, or the Rainbow Rare Marnie. But I have yet to pull any of those cards. I bought the Rainbow Rare Marnie like two or three times already. Uh, well, a couple times at the sell, one to keep in my collection. So we'll keep on the lookout for it as it'd be nice to pull it. That'd be cool pull. Darkness Energy, Thwacky, Poke Gear 3.0, Aurora Energy, Cufant, Bell Toy, Shin Chow, Sizzalalapede wrapping around a stick. Zigzagoon, Galarian Form, Reverse Grookey, Regular Rare, Lantern. One more Sword and Shield base pack is up next. And then we are moving on to everybody's least favorite modern set, Rubble Clash. Personally, I don't think it's that bad of a set. I think it's a great set. So we will have to see if we can actually pull anything good from it. Uh, really, the best card is the Golden Frost Moth. But there's some other cool stuff. Vulpix, Muna. Reverse Golding, Hollow Gengar hit. I will take it. Gengar is always a good pull. So we'll take it. What do we got? Two hits out of four packs so far, even if they are just hollows. We'll take them. Put them right up in front of Cynthia back there. Rebel Clash is up next. We've got a Toxtricity VMAX pack art. Maybe Toxtricity VMAX will give us some luck today. Although I'd like my best luck to come from Vivid Voltage like it usually does, but there are, like, I wouldn't mind pulling the Golden Frost Moth a second time. It's such a cool card. Stunky, Clefairy, Reverse Speed Lightning Energy, Hollow Dragapult. Look, <laughs> look at how fat he is in the legs, like where his thighs are. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. That's awesome. I'll take it. At least we're getting some, some of the cooler Hollows. Not like the dumb ones, but some of the cooler Pokemon. So I'll take them. I'll take them. <laughs> Look at that. It's so chunky. It's so chunky. All right. Inteleon V is up next. If you missed it yesterday, I opened an Inteleon V box that... What did I pull out of there? I think I pulled a Mega Blastoise EX from Evolutions, which was pretty cool. You should check that out if you feel like. I'll link it at the end of this video. Bronzong, Milo, Shuckle, Binacle, Scyther, Vullaby, Dreepy the Dragon, Magmar vs. Galarian Mr. Mime, regular rare, nine tails looking at the moon. Rebel Clash again. After this, we have Darkness Ablaze, which I'm still hunting for that Charizard, although not as furiously as I was hunting for the Burning Shadows Charizard, which I have yet to pull a Burning Shadows Charizard. Speed Lightning Energy, Metapod, Yamask, Surskit, Stuffle, Coughing, Imp Dimp, Reverse Coughing. Regular rare Cramorant. One more Rebel Clash pack is up next. I think last time I opened this amount of packs from each of these sets, I did pretty well. So far, not not that great. That's okay though. You can't pull great things every time. Lexio, Dracoloak, Trubbish, Helioptile, Honage the Sword, Litwick, Galarian Corsola, Reverse. Colossal, regular rare, Berserker. 
Darkness Ablaze is up next. And with my luck for the set, I know exactly what I'm going to pull. I'm calling it now. We are going to pull, not Charizard. We are going to pull Grim the Snarl VMAX, as I always do from this these packs. Lightning Energy, Cape of Toughness, Powerful, Colorless Energy, Soul Rock, Bond Sweet, Snubble, Melton, Bunnelby the Rabbit, Paris, Reverse Hippowdon, Regular Rare Galarian Darmanitan, some more Darkness of Blaze packs, not doing too good today. That's okay though, it's all in the fun and the opening and the surprise. I love to be surprised with trap hinges all day. I love it. Actually, if this was an old pack, I'd love to get a trap hinge from like an EX era pack. Carnivine, Trap Hinch, Jigglypuff, Ducklet, Carablast, Galarian, Derumaka, Reverse Nicket, the Fox, Regular Rare, Mimikyu. Two more Darkness of Blaze packs up next. At some point, the odds are like better and better for us to, er, to finally pull something slightly decent for today. That'd be nice. Probably going to be in the Vivid Voltage pack, but I'll take it. Flaffy, Carnivine, Ducklet, Carablast, Galarian Darumaka, Larvitar, Nicket the Fox, Reverse Bunnelby, Regular Rare Dracozolt, one more Darkness of Blaze pack with Charizard VMAX on the front. And we accidentally saw the cold card. My bad, guys. Nothing good yet. I'll do this pack a little quickly just because we know it's green. See, this is why I like Vivid Voltage. Even if it was green in Vivid Voltage, we would have no way of knowing if there was an amazing rare in there and that's what's great about vivid voltage or beetle vmax vivid voltage pack is up next i love this set this is probably my favorite set since like cosmic eclipse or like ultra prism just it's a great set it really is leaf energy kakuna sir chester bath galarian stunfist whismer execute woobat beldum blitzel Reverse Magearna, regular rare Vaporeon. See, even a even a rare Vaporeon that's not hollow is still a better pull than literally almost anything else. Although the Gengar and Dracopult hollows I pulled are pretty cool. So I'll take those. Another Vivid Voltage pack is up next. After this, we have two packs left, but we aren't quite done yet. Ferrothorn, Clefairy, Whalmer, Tynamo, Execute, Chatot, Reverse Electric, Hollow! Dialga, which I've hit a couple of times, so I throw it in my selling pile over here. Try to list it after the video. Zarud! Pack art is up next. Come on, Zarud. Bring us some good pulls today. We still have two more chances at something solid. We have not hit. I don't even think we've hit a V. We haven't even hit an Ultra Rare yet. Chatot, Joltik, Cottony, Mudbray, Slugma, Reverse Woobat, Pikachu V, first Ultra Rare of the day still one i pulled quite a few times but we'll take it we'll take it we have one more vivid voltage pack now odds are we aren't going to pull anything good but you never know this could contain the ultimate last pack magic with the rainbow rare pikachu we will find out in like 30 seconds here fire energy actually i still need the raikou amazing rare so that would be a nice pull too galarian meowth duskle the voltorb Weedle, Drillbur, Reverse, Galarian, Stunfisk, Pikachu, VMAX, full art for like the 100th time. No, this is actually the fourth time I've hit this card. Wow, we got some last pack magic. Not the rainbow one, but one we will take as an awesome hit. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will double sleeve this bad boy. This is uh, really badly off center, though, so I still double sleeve it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a good holiday week, and I will hopefully see you all tomorrow.